Science can be wonderful, but there are some facts, some projects, which are so disturbing that they're deemed best not to be discussed in public. Some are so scary and so big that nothing can be done about them. So why worry? And others are distinctly man-made. One of the biggest and darkest secrets is the booty's void. Often called the Great Void, it is a huge spherical region of space that contains almost no stars. It's approximately 70 million light years from Earth and located near the constellation Bootes. Its volume is estimated at 263 million light years making it the largest known void in the universe. It appears dark. Astronomers have only been able to find eight galaxies across the vast expanse. But looking at the volume of the Booty's Void, it should contain over 10 thousand other galaxies. So the question is, why and how this void came to be? Maybe the creepiest explanation is that the Booty's Void could be the result of an expanding alien civilization. As the colonization bubble expanded outwards, the civilization dims each star they conquered, blanketing the stars and even galaxies in a growing Dyson shell. This might explain why the Buddhist void is a spherical shape. It came out of nowhere, a bright speck in the sky, so streaking across the horizon. On the 15th of February 2013, a tiny asteroid, probably the size of a VW bug, exploded over the city of Chelyubinsk. Out there are a ton of asteroids. Most of them are happy to stay somewhere between Mars and Jupiter, but occasionally they collide, and even more rarely, they head for a planet Earth. The orbits of larger asteroids have already been worked out. Those are the ones over one kilometer in diameter. But Chelyabinsk was a wake-up call. Smaller asteroids could still be planet killers, country killers, or city killers. So the United Nations set up Near Earth Objects Planetary Defense System. A whole bunch of new telescopes around the world started looking for the smaller asteroids. What they're really interested in is finding the Death Plunge asteroid. All measured orbits are sent to the Minor Planet Center, who know when asteroids are going to hit Earth. And they're finding a lot of so-called near Earth objects. The problem is, when one of these objects decides to hit us, there isn't 
a way of warning you. So, I don't think we'll ever know what hit us. Hopefully this will change, but at present, science and politics is keeping us all in the dark. One of the most risky and dark experiments ever to take place was the first atomic bomb test. The scientists hadn't finalized the maths whether or not a nuclear explosion would cause an ongoing reaction in our whole planet's atmosphere, thereby igniting and eradicating Earth. This story is actually fascinating. There was never a known risk of the tiny Trinity test igniting the Earth. The truth was, Edward Teller, the father of the hydrogen bomb wanted to plant the idea of a doomsday weapon in the mind of the military. The smallpox plague. Smallpox has been eradicated throughout our planet, but bioweapons labs have kept samples. Here are three possible scenarios of how a smallpox plague would wipe out a fifth of the world's population. US, Russian, Chinese or UK labs leak their stockpile and kill the world. or an accident at a military biolab lets the smallpox escape. There's always the dark theory of an intentional release, or a disgruntled biolab scientist releases smallpox and holds the world to ransom. Here is a dark fact kept from the public. How quickly would you die if you fell into a volcano? Sadly, you would not sink into the lava, but you would lie on the top, burning and evaporating. You would stick to the surface. The injury would first destroy the upper layer of your skin, but quickly your blood vessels and your underlying dermis would burn. Your fat would boil off. In effect, you would become a seared steak. Following that gruesome death, we can all be thankful for anesthesia, but can we? There are some people and some procedures that it's impossible to administer pain relief. So instead of blocking the pain, a drug is given at the end of the operation to make you forget what happened. And I've left the most deadly to last. This disease 
is more dangerous than a virus and less studied than cancer. It's caused by totally normal cells in your body behaving strangely. No one knows what causes prion disease, but its results are truly terrifying. All healthy cells grow into a certain shape. It's that shape that helps determine how they work. But prion disease folds the cells in strange ways. A classic example you've probably heard of is mad cow disease. Proteins in the brain, instead of laying flat in sheets, became spongy. The strange thing is, there apparently is no prion agent. Any of us can be affected by a prion disease at any time. There is no test and there's no cure. Prion disease often takes over 50 years to manifest its horror as parts of your body stop functioning because they're made up of cells of the wrong shape. What else is being kept from us? There are no doubt other disturbing science experiments going on in the world right now. Secret military projects, big science funded by governments, or even the maverick scientist who's up to no good. What kind of science really worries you? Let me know in the comments below what you think are possibly the most deadly and disturbing science experiments going on right now. Or join me at my science club at Patreon, where you can talk to me directly and other inquiring minds. The truth is out there.